Hey guys, it's Willie. Today I want to take a look at Costco, one of Charlie Munger's favorite companies in the entire world. It is currently trading at 555.71. That is up 20.66%, call it 21%, over the past six months. A lot. That is really a lot for a company uh, to go up over six months, especially for a company as boring as Costco. Um, yeah, Costco has been a fantastic performer over a long period of time. If my five year chart will come up, there you go. You can see, you know, you're up 200% in the past five years. That's, you know, absolutely stellar for a boring company like Costco. I mean, it's a warehouse wholesale company. Um, that sells goods, just like a, um, a Sam's Club would. That's the Walmart version of it, basically. Um, so yeah, I think looking at these boring sort of companies, it's really easy to wrap your head around it, and you can really look at the numbers with a sense of what those numbers actually are and where they're coming from, because you can understand the business. But anyway, as always, we want to look at the numbers and see if we think that this business, in this case Costco, is worth our attention at the current time. So, to do that, let's jump over to our spreadsheet. Stock ticker is COST for Costco, C-O-S-T for Costco. The current stock price is $555.71. Okay, moving to the numbers, you're looking at revenue from $99 billion to 196 billion that is seven percent a year over the past 10 years net income and free cash flow are going a bit faster you're looking at roughly 1.6 1.7 billion dollars up to about 5 billion 5 billion 5.4 uh, respectively for net income and free cash flow that is 11.35 percent for net income and 13.4.04 sorry 13.04, call it 13% a year for free cash flow. Really good growth out of Costco. Good job, guys. Um, I really don't know how you're doing it uh, because you're growing revenue at 7% and net income is growing faster. That would indicate to me some sort of margin expansion, which would be a bit weird for Costco because Costco is the company that's known for selling cheap stuff at low margin. As you can see, you're looking at almost $200 billion in revenue and you're getting $5 billion in net income. Very low margins here. You're not talking about a company that's making a huge, huge amount of money. They're generating a huge amount, but not making a huge amount. That's another thing to think about with Costco, so those low margins. But they're growing net income faster than revenue. That would indicate margin expansion. Um, I don't know how they're doing it, but I get, uh, they're doing it. Here it is. Shares. Shares outstanding. We want to see these going down. They're not. We went from 439 million shares to 444 million shares. It's up, but it's not enough to be concerning. I wouldn't worry about this at all. If it keeps at this rate, it's fine. It's completely fine. I mean, and if you look, it went up and then it went down and then it started going back up again. But it's, it's not really going anywhere. 0.11% a year. That's not enough to worry about. I'm going to give them a pass on that one. Earnings per share, free cash flow per share, growing really solid. Um, really solid. You're looking at 11.2 and 13%. Free cash flow per share growth. Really good. Um, you're not seeing it grow in extraordinarily quickly as we would like because the shares are staying... I'd call it flat. Um, if they were buying back their shares and increasing net free cash flow and net income at the rates that they are, this would grow faster. That's normally what we would like to see. However, with Costco, you're not seeing that. It's just really coming from the underlying growth rather than coming out of the shares number. Total assets, here they are. $27 billion to almost $60 billion in 2021. 8% growth a year. The dividend. Uh, let's talk about the dividend. I feel like this number is wrong. Let me check right quick. 2021. 
Yup, I guess it is. That's strange. Am I looking at that wrong, guys? No, I'm not looking at it wrong. That is a correct number. The reason why I got confused with this is because Costco does special dividends. So like right here, here, and here, and here, they issued a one-time special dividend that is significantly larger. So if they're issuing, you know, 50 cent dividends a quarter, they'll be um, either one quarter or just a random date at which they may issue a dividend of like $7 or $10 uh, just as a dividend. So this is why it seems to jump around all over the place. But if you look at the long-term trend, you're seeing an upward trend in the dividends, which is what we want to see. It shows us that management is comfortable with raising its dividend, paying its investors more in, form, in the form of a dividend, and they feel comfortable enough to keep raising it. They feel comfortable that they'll be able to keep paying that dividend and keep paying the increased dividend over time. This is good. This is good. Uh, sentiment for the business. Total debt has gone up at 11% a year. Not really something I like to see. Cash only going up at 9.63% a year. I mean, where are you going to get the cash from? You're not generating a whole lot of it. Again, low margins. And then you've got your net debt number. You know, take your debt, throw your cash at it, you get your debt. You're not looking at a whole lot of debt, really. You're looking at $30 billion. However, However, if you compare that to free cash flow, that's significant. If you compare it to revenue, well, who cares? But you would be paying that money off with the free cash flow. So it needs to be put in relation to free cash flow. You're looking at, what, six times free cash flow? Which is a bit higher than what we'd like to see. But it's not terribly unreasonable. And Costco has consistent and consistently increasing free cash flow. So I feel like it's okay. It's not crazy high and they've got solid cash flow. ROIC, solid double digits. Especially good for a company that is as boring as Costco. In the sort of grocery business, but they sell a lot of other stuff too. I don't know what you would call. What do you call Costco? It's not a grocery store. It's a warehouse club or something? I don't know. Anyway, PEs, price free cash flows, they indicate how expensive or cheap a stock is. You can see it's a lot of red. You're looking based on current PE. It's over twice what we want to pay at price free cash flow, over twice what we want to pay it. Based on the five year numbers, it's more like three times what we want to pay for it. Yikes, not a good sign. Net debt to five year free cash flow. 6.7 times, so that's taking the current debt number, the current net debt number, and comparing it to the average of the past five years of free cash flow. We want that ratio to be under 5, it's 6.7, so that means it would take 6.7 years of free cash flow to pay off their net debt. It's a bit high, but I think for Costco it's okay. I don't have I don't have much of a problem with Costco having this much debt. I think it's fine. Revenue growth good, earnings growth good, free cash flow growth good. Shares are going up, but only slightly, so I'm gonna give it a pass on that. ROIC over nine percent, most definitely. It's at an average of fifteen point eight eight percent over the past five years. Good job, Costco. Now, one of the most important parts that we want to look at is our forecast for the future. I would consider myself being somewhat aggressive here. I'm actually going to go ahead and change the multiple because I think Costco is an above average business. I think they should get an above average multiple. Um, Costco, one could argue that they would grow at a lower rate. I'm going to say 7%. They've grown net income and free cash at 11 and 13% a year over the past 10 years. They've been able to do that. I would think they'd be able to pull off 7%. I mean, and that puts them at roughly, I think it was about $400 billion in revenue, which is up there with Walmart. But honestly, I think Costco could be 
bigger than Walmart, if I'm honest. Costco is not in that many countries at this point. Walmart seems to be in practically all of them. Costco has a long way to go before they get to Walmart's size. And I think Costco can, I think Costco can catch up, at least catch up to Walmart. I don't see why they couldn't. I think there's a lot, I think Costco is a better business than Walmart. And I think there's a better reputation for Costco than Walmart. I think customers tend to trust Costco more than they do Walmart. But anyway, that's into some more uh, qualitative factors. We're just looking at quantitative here. So I'm saying 7% growth rate, just simple, straightforward, with a 20 multiple. Same for net income. This gives us free cat based on free cash flow, 476. Price target in 10 years net income gives us 444, let's say. So we come over here. You can currently buy it at 555.71. Here's our two price targets. The average of those two price targets is $459.76 in 10 years. So already you're saying you're buying it for less than you're, more than you're selling it for. That's not a good sign. Flipping over, you're looking in at 555, out at 459.76. You've got this stream of free cash flows over the 10 years. What does that come to? That comes to 2% annually so unfortunately i don't i'm not going to be buying costco at this price i don't think anybody should be buying costco at this price i think it's expensive i think it definitely needs to come down a good bit before i would feel comfortable again i feel like i'm making somewhat aggressive assumptions here i would rather say something like i don't know four or five percent growth with a 15 multiple which would definitely lower this 2%. It may even drop it into the negatives at that point. But, you know, this is a math exercise. You would plug in your own numbers, do your own research, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, based on this stuff, based on this forecast, I wouldn't be buying it for a 2% return. I'm not buying anything for a 2% return. You know, I'm wanting to, I want to beat the market as best I can. And even if I can match the market with less risk i would still do it but this is doing neither this is two percent versus market average of ten percent so costco is something that i would add it to the watch list i think it's a really great company i think it is just too expensive right now if it were to drop far enough or the fundamentals were to come up far enough i think that costco would be a buy it's just not right now too expensive anyway that's all the rambling i'm going to do about costco for further comments on Costco, you can just ask Charlie Munger because I'm sure he will tell you how wonderful and fantastic and stupendous that co is Costco. So that is the end of this video. I want to thank everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that crap. Um, yeah, comment below. Let me know what kind of stocks you want to see or anything you think I should do with the channel to make any sort of improvements. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. I'm interested to hear them. Um, but beyond that, I'm done, and I will catch you guys in the next video.